Hey everybody, so 14 years ago today, Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner, Skelton went missing from Marenzi, Michigan. Andrew would be 23 years old today. Alexander would be 21. And Tanner would be 19. So this is Andrew, this is Alexander, and this is Tanner. When they went missing, the parents were getting a divorce. Tanya Skelton and John Skelton. Tanya filed for divorce and custody of the three boys. John took them for a visitation over Thanksgiving and never returned them. He tried to unalive himself and he made up a story that some woman named Joanne Taylor had taken them with his permission because he was planning to unalive himself. The authorities issued an Amber Alert for the boys, but they could not find any sign or indication that this woman Joanne even existed. So the police believe that the boys were in danger. So the investigators stated they were investigating the disappearance as homicides and John was the prime suspect. They said John's blue Dodge Caravan was on the Ohio Turnpike along with Michigan Ohio border between 4 and 7 a.m. on November 26th and asked anyone who saw it to come forward. A photo of the vehicle is posted in the case summary, which I'll show you right here. There's the vehicle, and this is the parents right here, John and Tanya. And the pictures of the boys. <laughs> and let me get back to immediately following John's release from the hospital, he was arrested and jailed under suicide watch. He was eventually extradited to Michigan and charged with three counts of felony parental kidnapping, three counts of kidnapping, and three counts of false imprisonment. At a court hearing in December 2010, he changed his story, saying his sons were in the care of, of an organization, which he at first refused to name it. He later said it, called, it was called United Foster Outreach and Underground Sanctuaries. The police believe no such group exists. Tanya and John married in 2002 and the family was active with the United Methodist Church in Marinci. John also has one adult daughter and Tanya has two daughters from their previous marriages. In mid-September 2010, he withdrew Andrew and Alexandra from school and to Florida without Tanya's permission. He told their school they were going on a vacation, but also implied they wouldn't return and the school might need to forward the children's record. Tanya had to go to Florida and have the authorities there force John under threat of arrest to take the boys back to Michigan. After they got back, Tanya filed for divorce. She said she only did it to secure custody and prevent John from taking the boys out of the area again and that she and John were in counseling with hopes of rec reconciliation. The children have been visiting John on, on a regular basis with no reported problems. John had previously worked at long haul truck driver, but in 2009, he was fired after he was convicted of drunk driving. He had been unemployed ever since. The children's parents we're in the middle of a bitter custody battle. Tanya was at 
one time a registered sex offender. She pleaded guilty to misdemeanor, fourth degree criminal sexual conduct against a 14 year old neighbor boy in 1998 when she was 32 years old. In response to a divorce filing, John had asked the court to sever her parental rights based on her sex offender status. The judge refused to do so. After the children disappeared, John said he had feared Tanya was abusing them, but investigators can find no evidence of abuse. Tanya said that when she went to their former family home, where John was living at the time of the disappearances, many items in the inside the house had been destroyed. In July of 2011, John took a plea deal with prosecutors and pleaded no contest to three counts of false imprisonment. The kidnapping charges were dropped. He could, could have faced life in prison if convicted on the original charges. Instead, he was sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison, a term that exceeds the state sentencing guidelines. John has stated that his children are still alive, but will never be returned as long as their mother has custody of them. His relatives and Tanya don't believe he would have harmed them. Alexander, Andrew, and Tanner all attended Marinci Elementary School at the time of the disappearances. Alexander was in third grade, Andrew in first grade, and Tanner in kindergarten. Their case remains unsolved and foul play is suspected. So again, these are their pictures, Andrew, Alexandra, and Tanner. Their mom has filed for them to be declared deceased. So I'm gonna play that for you. The disappearance of Skelton Brothers has haunted the small town of Marinci, Michigan for more than a decade. It has been 14 years since Tanner 5, Alexander 7, and Andrew 9 were last seen with their father John Skelton at his Marinci home. Their father has spent time with the boys for the Thanksgiving holiday during an ongoing divorce and custody battle with their mother, Tanya Sievers. He was supposed to return them to their mother on Black Friday, November 26, 2010. Police said John Skelton's phone could be tracked leaving his Marinci home and traveling 25 miles southwest into Hol Holiday City, Ohio. Then he returned to Marinci. The boys haven't been seen since. When he didn't return the boys and Tanya couldn't get an answer from him about where they were, she became worried. She contacted the police and an Amber Alert was issued. It's been 14 years since that day and the boys' whereabouts are still unknown. Tanya has filed a petition in Lenawee County Probate Court requesting that the court declare her sons legally dead. This decision came after much thought and discussion with my family and friends. It did not come lightly and was definitely a difficult decision to make. No parents want to lose a child, but to have to have the courts step in and declare them deceased is unfathomable. Tanya said in the family statement shared on social media at the end of the day, one person is responsible for the disappearance of my sons. That person at one point claimed the boys would hibernate until they graduate. As of today, June 14, 2024, all three boys are over 18. All would have graduated high school, yet they have not been returned to me and are still missing. <laughs> Family statement. 
In December 2023, three petitions were filed in Lenawee County Probate Court regarding my sons, Andrew Alexander and Tanner Skelton. I am asking the courts to declare Alexander, Andrew Alexander and Tanner legally deceased. This decision came. Father says he gave Skelton brothers away to protect him. John Skelton said he gave the boys away to an underground group to protect them from his, their mother. He alleged that Tanya had abused the boys. She denies that allegation. Tanya was charged with fourth degree criminal misconduct in the late 90s for having sex with a 14 year old boy. John Skelton said she was abusing her own sons, but she said that is not true. That has all been investigated, Tanya said. My stuff was gone through. My children come first. Always have, always will. My dream job was to be a mom, and it is the greatest job in the world. But to say that I abuse my sons, that kills me. Local Force spoke with Brewer in 2020, who said John Skelton was holding back key information in the case. This is not a case everyone H. John Skelton said, Detective Lieutenant Jeremy Brewer, we just want to find these boys. And they're so cute. John Skelton in prison, parole denied. On September 15, 2011, Skelton pleaded no contest to three counts of unlawful imprisonment. He was sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison. John Skelton was denied parole in 2020 and 2022. The summer he was reviewed for parole and the board found him to still be at risk for, to the community. His parole was denied and he will serve his entire sentence, meaning he will remain in prison until November 29th, 2025. John Skelton is being held in the Bellamy Creek Correctional Facility in Lenona, Michigan. Again. Father claims he gave his boys to Amish group. John Skelton has claimed to give have given the boys to an Amish group. He has me mentioned the Amish as being that group. The Amish live all over Michigan and in Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. While Amish people don't use electricity or cars, they do stay informed. Local four visited an Amish bakery in Camden, Michigan. An Amish woman there said she reads the newspaper every day, so she's aware of current events. When local four spoke to her, she was 20 years old and remembered when the Skelton brothers vanished. I just remember it was in the paper every day. She said, yeah, I remember that. She said she wasn't familiar with the claim that John Skelton left the boys with the Amish. But she said if someone brought children there, the Amish would take them in. I think they would call the police or someone. The Amish woman said they would. It's not like they would hide them. She said the Amish community stay in touch with each other. And if the boys turned up, everyone would know. And there's the boys, Tanner, Alexandra, and Andrew. So it doesn't show that there was a decision made, but she did put in for them to be declared deceased. If you guys could hit the like button, share this out, maybe it will help bring them home. Thank you again for watching and have a great night. Bye.